The CDC estimates 470,000 children in America live with epilepsy. For nearly half of those kids, multiple drugs and brain surgery have had little to no effect. Researchers in Seattle now are testing a different kind of drug. And Ursula Perry reports they are excited about the early results. 19-year-old Shanahan Demerol has had epileptic seizures for 14 years, despite taking five anti-seizure meds daily and having two brain surgeries. You know that feeling like when somebody tips your chair back and you get that feeling in the back just like that? AJ. His doctors theorized that targeting a protein pathway called mTOR could help. It is overactive with epilepsy. NAB rapamycin inhibits that pathway. Our thought is that by changing the way this protein acts in these children with epilepsy, we can in turn change their epilepsy. Shanahan was in the phase one trial, three infusions once a week, and his mom noticed changes. The seizures were definitely shorter. They were different. Um, and much more manageable. He didn't have any side effects except for uh, one bloody nose. And at the end of five weeks, he didn't have any more seizures. Lindley says he's had one to three seizures a month since that trial, as compared to four a week before. Just lessen the seizures. Mm. It did that, which was a thrill, to be honest. <laughs> The researchers at Seattle Children's Hospital are encouraged, and they're looking ahead to the next trial. We're going for improvement, and even that would be a win in my book for these children, and we're hoping for a cure. A slightly different version of this drug is already in use for some other diseases, and that could actually expedite getting this out to the public after the clinical trials. They're already recruiting for the next phase, Phase two will begin shortly at Seattle Children's Hospital. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.